Yo, what is up gamers? Today we are on third dead god file, playing Apoleon basement one, trying to find the treasure room, but unfortunately I have bad news. I am currently going through it. <laughs> I quite literally want to activate Isaac in real life uh, with the chest and everything, I'm not kidding. So it's story time, let's begin. What is going on? I've gone and lost everything. All my stats, it's all gone. I don't really even know what happened. How? Let me explain. I got a new piece recently and I uh, explained this to you guys and it's been great. I've been able to run games at a faster pace, a more consistent pace. I'm able to edit faster, export, use After Effects, Photoshop, etc, etc. Pump out the content for all of you guys way easier. It's been a great investment. However, for some reason, after a week of playing on the PC, I opened Isaac and my save files got just all kinds of messed up. And it's not like messed up in like a logical sense. It makes no sense what Whatsoever. If you go to like the start page of all your save files, I still have Dead God 1 and 2, but my third file acts as if I have only ever just beaten Mother. I think my first file says that I've died like only 9 times. Some files say that I've only picked up like 27 or so items. It makes no sense. I don't understand. What's in this treasure room? Oh man, piercing is fat, thank you. And I don't even really know how this happened. See, my theory is that it has something to do with Isaac Online. Remember when that came out? And then a lot of people lost their save files, it got all kind of corrupted, but you know, if you uh, followed everyone's directions and you saved your uh, save file as a backup, you could re-enable it. That did happen to me, but I was able to, you know, regain my save file. And I was playing on it for a hot minute, but I, I don't know, it doesn't make sense to me, because randomly, I swear to god i just opened isaac i was playing and i was like what what happened here it's hella weird too like eden is locked for some reason like how does that make any sense how do you have dead god <laughs> but you don't even have eden unlocked i don't i don't understand give me this a shot speed and a luck up that kind of sucks but eh, whatever let's go down for now i do have to establish that in terms of progression for every single file it's the same i do have dead god and on my third file that i'm playing on right now i do have have like 400 or so achievements out of the 637 needed for a dead god. So it's not like I lost it, it's like purely visual. My post-it marks are gone. Being able to tell if my challenges are done at all, my dailies aren't done. It's a weird scenario overall, I, I don't really understand it. But all you need to understand is that technically I didn't lose progress, I, I kinda did. It's more just like I lost the post-it marks and uh, the stats that came with it, like how many mom kills have I done, how many times have I died and Isaac, you know what I'm saying? Which, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. It, it kind of sucks. <laughs> that is 10 years of uh, stats that I've, I've built up over my favorite game of all time. And uh, I, I don't really see a way to get it back. And trust me, I've really, really tried here. I went and got my old PC, plugged in my old hard drive, and got my old save data files back in. And I dropped them into Dropbox, opened my new PC, and then dropped them into here. But when I looked at it, for some reason, the most most recent save files and the only save files I have are of the day that I played Isaac aka whatever today is. So me recording right now it's February 27. The only save files I have are of February 27. I check my Steam Cloud as well and the only versions of save file for that are February 27 or whatever today is and the one before that uh, Celtic Cross is whatever I think I'm just gonna take the blind. The one before that is three years ago <laughs> when it was Afterbirth Plus, so I, I don't I don't know if there's any saving this one. Look to the Luna moment. Void? We might as well. I'll be taking that. I also kind of want to guess the secret room. I'm gonna hope that it's right here. Pretty please. Noise. Cards, world, hanged man. I will do something like this and go to the curse room. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh... Pretty please? Nothing too good. But I'm not gonna let this bring me down. We have to keep in mind that I still have all the secrets. So that is the reason that I am playing Apollyon today. Because all I did was I looked at all of my secrets on this third file. And I said to myself, okay, let me look for a random locked thing. And I saw that I had secret 313 locked. So I said, okay, well, what's secret 313? Turns out it's Apollyon to the dark room, to lamb. So I said, okay, let's just do that. And so we're here. We're doing dead God. They're trying to keep me down but I'm not gonna let it happen. Colostomia is dead. Thank goodness. What do I get? You know what? That's beautiful. Thank you. Treasure room over here. Lemonade. Uh, Serpent's Kiss. That's actually really good. What I'm most likely going to have to do is because it is purely visual. I'm 
probably gonna have to go and manually give myself every single post-it mark on every single file and basically cross-reference every secret that I have and then give myself that specific post-it mark. There might be ones that I skip. It's not gonna be perfect. I'm gonna be real. There's 600 different achievements in the game. I'm not gonna be perfect about it, but I'm gonna do the best that I can. For the first and second file, it's actually not that bad. I basically just lose the stats because I can press Alt F2 on the stats screen and that'll fix everything. Because if you don't know, if you go to your secret screen and then press Alt plus F2, this is not a meme by the way. This is not like some weird creepypasta thing I'm making up. This is, this is real. If you do that, you will sync up your in-game progress with your Steam achievements. So if you ever lose in game progress you could do that there's a fail safe for it in fact i could do that for every single one of my files that's actually the easiest way to get three dead gods you can very much easily just get one dead god go to the second file go to the stats page alt f2 go to the third file alt f2 bam infinity percent i'm the best gamer alive i will not be doing that though uh, to the best of my ability i'm going to be getting this third dead god whether the game likes it or not and now i'm doing it my way at this point though i am absolutely going to skip greed mode <laughs> <laughs> and the challenges. I don't know about you guys, but I feel way better about just playing Isaac. The regular good old style. For me, Dead God, like once you've already achieved the first one, the second and third one, of course, while impressive, it isn't that incredible. Not to downplay anyone who's gotten three dead gods or two or however many. Thanks for the two's up. But yeah, I think you know what I'm trying to say. It's the same thing. You just did it multiple times. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't really bother me too much. What I'm mainly concerned about is the fact that cross-referencing every single secret to my in-game progress is going to not go too well. But that's just a cry about it moment, I think. If you're wondering why I have not been doing third dead god progression, by the way, this is literally the exact reason. I have been trying to get this fixed for multiple, multiple weeks. I really, really, really wanted to. I tried everything in my power before I decided, you know what, it's best that I just be honest with you guys because I like keeping it real with you guys. And I just gotta say, you know, this is what I'm going through. It's kind of rough right now. And I thought I should just tell you. We're gonna pull through though. I'm sure we can find the light at the end of the tunnel. I just gotta put in some extra work to get it done. Blubberton, goodbye. Range? No, dude. Oh, more damage and more tears. The first time I feel like a bullion has really done something for me. Game knows I'm currently suffering, so it's given me a freebie. I am actually truly suffering, by the way. This is the third time I've recorded this video on top of everything that's been happening. My computer crashed like a few times when trying to record on top of everything, so, you know, maybe it's just not the day. <laughs> I'll take a pageant, boy. Uh, I got enough cash for the shop. Let's go check that out. Do we get anything good? Not really. I'll take a soul heart and goodbye. I also cannot believe I got a deal, by the way. That was rare as hell. Thank you, though. You know, if I do try and look on the bright side of things, I could say that it's gonna be a lot easier to delete my third dead god now. Because that was something I've been planning to do, if you didn't know. My plan was basically get third dead god, infinity percent, and then, you know what? Delete it, do it all over again, and repeat that over and over and over time until I get like eight dead gods by the time Binding of Isaac 2 comes out. And then I'll be like, yep, I got the most dead gods ever. I don't even think that would be true. I know there are some major Isaac gods out there. Probably will have 10 times more than I ever will. But you understand what I'm trying to say. Now that this has happened to me, I feel a lot better about being able to delete my dead god files. I actually would not feel too terrible, considering I feel like I've basically been through it. I had a feeling I needed to do an Apollyon run as well, which was actually hilarious to me. I remember what my old third file looked like before it got like corrupted. And I remember saying to myself, I probably haven't done Apollyon yet. Before even looking at the secrets that I have so I could determine what I needed to do, I was thinking it's probably like Apollyon to the lamb. And then I checked out Secret 313. I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> that checks out. <laughs> A uh, spider bite. This is a, a great item. I'll take it. We can at least take solace in the fact that I'm pretty sure the progression should still work the same. This run is also working as a kind of like experiment to see that if I go and defeat the lamb, the secret should pop. And if that's the case, then we're at least in the clear. If that doesn't work, then I could be more boned than I could have ever imagined. But uh, well, hopefully that doesn't happen. We got cash. I picked up that golden key and we got a greed fight. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, okay. Uh, it's so early that I'll take a steam sale. Thanks. 
safe file is so weird too. Like, what the heck? Eden is locked? Excuse me? It's acting like I've never picked up the sad onion before. I actually have only nine deaths. I guess, you know, I could take solace in the fact that I, I have like some weirdo clean file now. I could say that I've never taken damage from Great Gideon before. We could consider this an actual Binding of Isaac rebirth of my save file, a new era. And I'm down to do that. That at least makes the copage a little bit easier. Bro got dead god without even unlocking Eden. <laughs> Reaperton is done. We don't get a deal because I skill issued, but we won't on the next floor because I got a soul heart. Uh, that's one. This piercing is going so hard. I think I'm gonna pop the world. Just see where I want to go. Yeah, let's let's head down to that secret room, I think. Anything in here? Button with three coins. I'm surprised that didn't spawn like multiple worms or flies. That's a W in my book. Hey, you know, how about a good story though? A positive side to things. Here's something cool. I believe by the time this goes up, it'll be announced that I am a part of Sejam's Tekken tournament, which if you don't know what that is, Sejam is a very popular FGC guy. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of Tekken on the side recently, on top of my Isaac grind as per usual. And a ton of different streamers that are new to Tekken, like myself, are going to be participating in it. Tons of people you may know, like Super TF, a lot of offline TV guys, you know, BoxBox, Skara. These big name people are actually going to be in the tournament. E-Rob, Slime, it's going to be a huge thing. So if you are not into fighting games or don't know what it's all about, but you were always kind of curious, just, uh, you know, I think it's March 10th. Come check, come check out my stream. I'm going to be participating. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a team-based thing. I'm setting up all of my excuses right now. So when I get destroyed, uh, absolutely no one can, uh, you know, point and laugh at me. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I actually played Binding of Isaac all day, so the fact that I lost in Tekken isn't really even like a big deal, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, for real, it's actually gonna be a ton of fun, so I think you guys should come by and say hi. It's gonna be sick. I don't think I have to do that much in terms of Third Dead God. This is the one that I'm doing right now, and I know I'm missing some normal marks like the Sapoleon, but other than that, it's not too bad. Mega horse pill, by the way. Thank you. I think I've basically done all the normal counterparts. All I really need to do are the tainted marks. And I'm down to just basically do, you know, a tainted, go up, go down, cathedral, dark room, and then, you know, obviously I gotta pick up the items, I guess. But that's basically my dead god. That's all I need. We were close, so we could lock it in from here. Goodbye, Brownerton. I give you the Jesus juice. I also pick up the sensor. Thanks, man. So what's happening here? Where's my boss? I have a feeling it's probably to the bottom right so what i'm gonna do is go in here press qtp out hopefully i go to the top left i do uh that's a tears down don't want that balls is wonderful tears up is incredible considering I, I got a tears up earlier as you can see blow up that dude for some murderous properties get my double chance in and then hopefully we find a treasure room slash shop in this direction and then we can head in the other one major trade deal right here boys bam oh yeah <laughs> making moves today top 10 side hustles in the binding of isaac that will get you rich quick oh my god another tears up i'm definitely maxed out yeah that's crazy good for us got an arcade here a ton of money but definitely nowhere to spend it hopefully the shop is a little bit better because that's disappointing what is this it is the shop okay is this humongousaur it's actually Dreamcatcher. i and they're all on sale so i'll just take it and then donate the rest of my money because I, uh, I might as well. I made a joke the last time I recorded because it was at 000 about how I need to spend more money on my donation machine and build it back up. I also need to check if stopwatch is even unlocked on the save file because if not, that's gonna, that's gonna be annoying. <laughs> Might have to debug that one in too at that point. But you guys don't get to hear that joke. You know why? Because my computer crashed and I'm losing my mind. Oh, luck up. Cool. Willem Dafoe for real, for real. This might be the art, guys. I actually, I think it's time. I understand. It's a new year. We're in February. I'm completing my third dead god. I feel like I'm going crazy. This might be the time where I officially go insane. I think it might genuinely be around like the two year mark of playing Binding of Isaac daily where you actually go mentally deranged. The social experiment is complete. We can end it now. But not on my watch, actually. I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna keep grinding. We don't stop over here. Let's go fight mom. I also gotta remember, we gotta go down. This is the exact moment that my game crashed last time. So excuse me if I'm being a little bit silent and very precarious of my actions and what is going on around me. If it happens again, <laughs> lock your doors. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna be real mad. Negative, Angel Room, and Lazarus. I don't know if we have Lazarus unlocks. I 
can't even check. I, I don't, I like, oh, how could I? But we're not even gonna risk it. I'll just take it and go. If I ain't ever seen a more obvious boss. <laughs> I guess if I do uninstall Repentance and plug in my old Afterbirth save file, I could at least save some statistics, which would be better. I might end up doing that. Or I might just do it raw. It doesn't matter. Either way, I'm gonna have to debug all of my old post-it marks in. I'm gonna try and be as accurate as possible, but there's obviously just no guarantees. I am currently getting cooked by the game and by life, but it's okay. We move, and we're gonna get this fat angel deal, and it's gonna have Sacred Heart, and I'm gonna feel so much dopamine that I'm gonna forget all of my issues even exist. Binding of Isaac is an escape, as ironic as that is. Hello, Mama Gerd. I don't have flight, so if you do the move, I'm kind of boned here. It's it's uh, a 50-50 whether or not I get hit. There it is. Oh, I blocked it. Nice. I do not get hit. In fact, I did another one. Oh, that like never happens. A third one? Oh my god, I'm cracked. My Binding of Isaac powers kicked in, actually. We did get the angel. That's actually insane. Hey, it's conjoined. Very, very nice. Let's take this as an opportunity to not actually take this key piece, but instead just roll it or I guess void it for some statistics. I want to take that HP up in the boss room because that's essential. Boom. Goodbye, goober. Hello, speed and range plus a soul heart. Thanks to the fortune cookie nice we're doing actually really well for ourselves okay vault room to the right it has some chests big fan of the squeezy proc double soul heart as well it, it's more just like the two soul hearts dropped i have maximum tier i did forget about that but the hearts are necessary if we can get one more baby as well we'll get the conjoined progress we need to get three of three and that's always nice to have conjoined being a damage down is not a big deal to me i always find that the aoe you get from the transformation is just so much better than a measly damage down i'm surprised this isn't the boss. It must be next to the big room. I left a pinky eye right here. I'll, I'll take this. It's not like I have use for money. And to be honest with you guys, I'm getting a little bit nervous. Now that we're closing in on the lamb fight, what if like my unlocks are actually just boned? Does that mean I have to go and delete my third file entirely? <laughs> and manually go through every single character, debug myself, and like try and beat every single boss and match whatever like resource that I could find. I'm gonna have to go to like an old Twitch stream and figure out like what post-it notes I had. <laughs> Please don't let this be the case. This is maybe the most scared I've ever been closing in on a W for Binding of Isaac. I am not prepared to go through this. I don't know if I can. We got a Hush fight. Do we even want to fight you? Dude, I don't care about Hush. I got the unlock for that already. I just want to see what's gonna happen please it'll be okay where's the boss man it's 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 to the left i am getting cooked guys i apologize that i have not been doing third dead god i i swear it's only ever a good reason <laughs> and this is it we're gonna bring it back though we simply just need to lock in all i need to do is lock in it'll be okay <laughs> You know, it's a very good run, despite anything, just because of the piercing. Yikes, brimstone eyes. Our damage and tier rate are generally pretty good. It's nothing spectacular, no quality pours, no nothing. But I'm able to handle every single boss and enemy super duper easily without some god items, because all you really need are basic stats to get through the game. Like so. Also, sensor being able to slow down shots this much is very, very good, obviously. Making dodging a, a thing of the past. I'm just gonna face tank everything. Oh no, don't do this to me. Do I- wait, if I didn't do the lamb unlock, that probably means I haven't done the satan unlock. Maybe we're about to find out. Oh my god, I actually don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, dude. If I beat the lamb and uh, an unlock doesn't proc, I'm- I'm actually about to cry. Ooh, Guppy's tail though. Big gaming. <laughs> Conjoined! Yippee! Anything else here? No. Let's just go to where I think the boss is gonna be. And let's just lock it in. This- this is- I know it's a weird video. It's like a story time-esque video. But I know you guys have been wanting a lot of dead god progression. And this is the way we're gonna have to do it until I figure this out. It's just important that I be honest with you guys. And this is what we have to do. <laughs> okay, I am being blessed with a absolute more billion amount of black hearts. So, I really don't think I'm gonna be dying anytime soon. Chest, 120 volt. That's nice. Where would the boss be? Oh, you know what? It's next to that big room. Another chest triple shot that's always hype here's the boss I, I i guys never before have i had a more like sinking feeling playing isaac i actually do not feel good in all aspects of the word this should work i i don't see a reason why it shouldn't but with how things have been going inexplicably making it so that i've never picked up the sad onion before i don't know what to expect man it says i'm missing secret 313 this is secret 313 please just work it'll at least make the page 
pain of recovering all of my old post-it notes the best that I can a little bit easier. There goes Lamb Body. Uh, I actually, I, I'm too scared, guys. I don't want to finish off the kill. Like, I actually feel like a, a feeling of dread. Oh, God. I, I actually feel bad playing this game for the first time ever. Please just have this feeling go away. Just work. Just work. Pl I'm not fighting Delirium. Just work. Just work. Give me the unlock. Pretty please. Pretty please. Please. God. Please. God. In heaven. Please. God. Please. God. What? <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Okay. I could figure this out. It just means that I'm going to have to spend maybe uh, another extra four hours. You know? Uh, no big deal. What? what hey, you guys want to see it? I'll show you guys. Here, look, look. Look. This is my first dead god file. Stats. I've actually only died nine times. Items. Nah, I've never picked up anything before. Eden tokens? I have 20. I, I, I do actually have 20, but there go my post-it notes. There's Eden. Oh, but you know, my second dead god file, I actually, I, I don't, I don't have Eden. <laughs> I'm going insane. Okay, I'll fix it. It's just going to take a lot of work, but I'm going to fix it. And I'm going to fix it for you guys because you guys are my family. And I want to provide you guys the best content possible. Expect more dead god progression videos. I know you guys have been wanting them. I've been wanting to do them. I had to be honest with you guys. I had to showcase what I was going through. I'm going to end the video right now before my like, computer crashes and I lose this entire run like a fourth time. Jeez. Jeez.